Good morning. Welcome to a full day in depth of 75 Hard Baby. I just love that it is like seven o'clock. I have a Walmart pickup order that we need to go get. I always do them for seven to 8 a.m. because one, it gets me out of bed. I've been struggling with that lately. Ever since I got back from Texas, I don't know. I cannot, I do not want to wake up. I do not want to get out of bed. But also it's like the least busy time. I am a little bit more awake, but I, I would be telling you a huge lie if I said I didn't want to crawl back into bed right now. <sighs> we got a new toaster. I haven't washed myself tan off from last night. Usually I'd like jump out of bed, like do my skincare, or in this case, like hop in the shower right away. But I actually woke up really hungry, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the bloom. I transformed this cabinet here into all of my health stuff. It's pretty cute and exciting, I love it. But you do know the drill. I've been having bloom every morning or a green spotter in general every morning for like, I don't know when I started or when I got into this, maybe like the summer. The citrus flavor is the best. I've tried most of the flavors. Citrus, by far my favorite. My hands are looking so bad, okay? I promise it'll get a little bit better after the shower. But I've also been so lazy with my self tan lately. I don't do it all the time, but I have stuff going on this weekend, so I wanted to do it. And I also only tan the upper half. I didn't even bother with my legs, why would I? Like, I don't show them. It's winter. If this weather just makes me want to do absolutely nothing today. <laughs> but we have goals and ambitions and I would never be able to just let myself do nothing all day. So, let's go get the pop. He's like sleeping in bed right now. Just kidding, he's in my desk chair. Hi, baby. He always sits in my desk chair and I think it's because he misses me. Because <laughs> he knows this is my chair. Breakfast, we have Greek yogurt. I changed it up a bit. This one is cherry flavored, which my 75 hard like diet guidelines, meal plan, nutrition plan, whatever you want to call it, is pretty balanced and like I would say healthy in terms of mindset like it's a, it's a good place if you're new here or just want a little refresher a little reminder basically I eat like pretty clean pretty healthy which I know that's such a taboo word I'm eating a lot more whole foods my diet is pretty high in protein I really don't eat many processed things of course I cut out like chips and sodas and desserts which I didn't really eat much of that anyway on the day-to-day -day basis but I have definitely been eating a lot more like, overall clean, right, for 75 hard. I mean, it is a challenge. I'm gonna add some granola in my yogurt because I freaking love granola. However, I bought some from the store and it's just not, it's just not good, okay? If you can make your own granola, you should make your own granola. After I run out of this, I'm definitely gonna make some and I think I'm gonna do like a whole like meal prep video and stuff. I think that would be a lot of fun. But I've only made it once before and it was actually so easy and so good and then I knew exactly what was going into it, right? Or I could control like how much sugar went into it because this is something that I feel like can be super sugar intensive if you don't watch it because it's sweet, right? I also want to say though, you know, like 75 hard is like a challenge, right? It's like a health challenge. Like you do have to be a little bit strict with yourself. So it really hasn't been like crazy hard with me trying to stick to this whole like food guidelines. And I was just in Texas for a little while and in my very beginning of 75 hard, I told you, I was like, I'm gonna have a few cheat meals while I'm in Texas. I'm not gonna like torch myself, right? And I did, and I enjoyed them, but as soon as I got back home, I was like, okay, let's get back to it. I also really only had like a few cheat meals. It's not like I ate like crap the whole time there. So that's the difference. I feel like I'm pretty good about the whole eating thing. Oh, also, also, I don't want you to think 75 hard means that you eat like a thousand calories a day and you only eat greens and spinach because that's not true because I work out and like burn so many calories throughout the day. Like I eat a lot and like I eat carbs and fats and whatever. So don't be alarmed. Don't get scared. You need those things. Just a little disclaimer because you should not be under eating because your body needs it. Your body needs food and it needs all the different kinds of foods unless you have like necessary restrictions. That's my rant because a health challenge can be scary and and I want you to be healthy and happy and go about it in the right way. And it's going well. We'll get into that more. And for the best part of the morning, ah! I've also been trying to eat like pretty low sugar 
I do eat sugar, but I've been really trying to cut it out as much as possible. And this is like semi-related, but not completely. I also have been really wanting to convert to coffee syrups for making like lattes and stuff, right? So I got a couple, I put them in these cute jars, whatever. Uh, I don't like any of them. <laughs> I don't like any of them. And I was kind of excited because I was like, oh, these are gonna make my coffees a lot less calories. Because these two are zero sugar, zero calorie, which again, zero sugar, so like this one does have a little bit to it. But I literally just don't like any of them. This one especially, this literally tastes like fireball. Um, no, not for me. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I just, I don't know, man. Everyone loves freaking coffee syrups and I just can't get behind it. But you know what? I am not everyone and maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> Right? I guess the main dairy I really eat is the coffee creamer and then sometimes I'll have some cheese. Not every day. Mm. I really wanted to get out and take Duncan for a walk earlier rather than later today. But um, yeah, that's not happening for a while. You love it though, don't you? Go play. Go play in the snow. <laughs> All right, today's outfit is this long sleeve activewear set, which I will probably end up getting too cold and have to put a sweatshirt on over, but that's fine. So as you may know, the workout portion of 75 Hard includes two 45 minute workouts, one of which you must do outside. So for that, I always just take Duncan on a really good walk because in my head, that's like still a workout, still good. We are like power walking, right? We're walking the terrain, we're doing hills, like it's a good walk. And then my indoor workout is a little more, you know, rigorous, maybe a little more strength, whatnot. However, obviously I can't get that done right now as it is snowing and blizzarding outside, but when it's done, I will strap on the boots, the snow boots, and I will still take him on the snow, and he'll love it too, so it'll be good. We will still get there. Ideally, I would put on my ankle weights, but because I will be walking through snow with snow boots on, unfortunately, I don't think I will be seeing ankle weights for today's outdoor walk. Okay, got a bunch of work done. No morning movement, unfortunately, but some days you just can't win at everything. That's okay, it's still blizzarding outside, but we will make it for that walk. However, it is lunchtime. I'm excited, I am hungry. I'm gonna make this salad that I saw Lauren Geraldo make on her channel recently. It's basically any greens you want, olive oil, Parmesan cheese, which kind of just makes a good dressing. Tomatoes, I'm gonna throw some croutons. You can throw an extra stuff if you wanna make it more fun, but it's a really simple salad that's actually so tasty and sometimes I'm not a huge salad dressing person, but I love the combination of olive oil and Parmesan cheese. But what's so exciting about it is Parmesan cheese is actually a really good cheese for gut health. I may or may not have learned that on TikTok, but I want to believe it. So I'm going to take it and run with it. I love croutons so much. And listen, okay, I know salads are so like stereotypically like boring healthy, but this has been my lunch fixation lately and it's actually so good. Okay, don't knock it till you try it. It's 75 heart approved. It's actually good. It's gut health supportive. Thank you, Lauren. I love you, my queen. I have to drink two of these a day. Here is your drink water reminder. That salad was so good, but it is just not enough for lunch. Like I need more. I want to make a little smoothie. I'm in the mood for fruit. I'm going to finish off my frozen strawberries. I really wanted to add a banana, but that's not happening with these. <laughs> However, I do always add protein to my smoothie. I have not committed to any protein brand, so recently I've been trying a new one. This is by Earth Chimp. I got a vanilla flavor. I tried it a few times and I do really like it. It smells very like birthday cakey, like not just vanilla, like vanilla birthday cake, like so good. I usually do one scoop now and then one scoop later because the serving size is technically two scoops. And then a little water. This might seem so boring and plain, but it's how I love to get in fruit and protein, and I think it tastes good, okay? If I had ripe bananas, it'd be a little more interesting. Earth Chimp specifically has like really clean organic ingredients, so it always like makes you feel really good, which is so important in a protein powder, and in like everything, I guess, but it's really so important to feel good and use good ingredients, especially when you're doing something like 75 hard, which is a challenge, but also like can seem a little boring if you make it that way, so we love to support clean brands. It also has a really good texture. I think I like the texture of this 
this one much better than my Orgain that I have also purchased in the past. And sometimes protein powders can have weird textures, so that's a very good thing. Dude, shoveling is a workout, okay? I just shoveled the whole driveway, and it's that like thick, wet, heavy snow. So it, it, oh, it took a lot out of me. It, it's a workout. Dunks and I did play in the snow for a little bit, but I had to put them inside because there's no way I'd be able to shovel the driveway because I was afraid that either A, we were in the front yard, he would run away, or B, it would take me so, so, so much longer because he would want to play with the shovel in the snow. <sighs> but I'm tired, oh my goodness. Like two 45 minute workouts, no. Talk about three workouts in a day. Oh my goodness, what, a, what an active day it'll be for me. Just brought some crackers down here. I'm gonna eat a few because I'm kind of hungry after working up such a sweat. But anyways, okay, so I just got back from Texas, right? And it's been a little while since I've talked about 75 hard. How is it going? How how are we doing, right? Let's give you the little update. So let's cover all the areas. There's five components, right? The eating. Okay, I did say I was gonna allow myself like a few cheat meals or like whatever. I did, but also for the most part, so we were there for two full weeks and we didn't want to eat out like all the time. I mean, because of financial reasons too. So I actually ate pretty decent and pretty, pretty much the same, just honestly like a little more boring, I would say, than I eat at home. So because I didn't have as many like spices or as many resources and cooking supplies, I didn't like make any really fun recipes, but I had basic like healthy things. My eating was fine, but yes, I did let myself live more in Texas than I do here. Exercise, the next really big one. So I didn't really do many formal workouts. However, I walked like many, many miles every single day. So for me, it's like, yes, that kind of technically checks the box. I definitely did the equivalent to two 45 minute workouts or more. However, neither of them were like super rigorous. I got back from Texas, like with the same endurance and like not feeling bad about my body so i think that speaks a lot for itself and i think that is really awesome and it's like okay like maybe i did enough there but in the same respect it's like okay well this was a challenge usually one of my workouts is a lot more harder a lot more strength intensive and i was kind of missing that part in texas so i guess there you could say i kind of slacked I struggled a lot, honestly, finding the middle ground for things like that. Like, number one, this is a challenge, but number two, I can't torture myself while I'm here type of a thing. So I don't know, we made it through. And like, yes, I could have done harder workouts, but I didn't. But I technically met the requirements. So you can think what you want about it. Yes, I don't want to torture myself, but like this is a challenge and I want to do this challenge. So like, I do need to hold myself accountable. Three water, we had a Brita filter, which was great. So I brought this big jug that I bring with me everywhere. We also bought water bottles for the car ride. So that was pretty easy. I didn't really have to worry about that. Four progress pictures. I didn't take one. Um, I didn't take any progress pictures while we were in Texas. So like, um, when I was reading about 75 hard before I started it, one of the articles I read said if you miss something for a day, you have to start over. Yeah, I'd be way back to the beginning right now because I, have, I did not take any progress pictures. However, if I were to miss out on one thing, I think that isn't the worst thing because like obviously it's a great thing to do, but also it's not harming my health or taking away progress in my health. That's just less documentation for me. So yes, it sucks and yes, that is my own fault. Like I could have taken them, like I have no excuse. I literally just started forgetting and then didn't do it and then whatever. But I'm not too upset about that because like, like that's not affecting my health, right? At least for the most part. And then reading, I didn't read 10 pages every single day I definitely missed a day here and there and then had to read like double the next day to catch up I struggle with reading I can't I can't lie to you I struggle with reading I've never been a reader in my entire life and so right now I'm actually listening to an audiobook which might be kind of cheating in some people's eyes I mean in mine it kind of is too but I was struggling I don't know I just like some days I forget and some days I push it off and then I end up actually forgetting and I don't have an excuse right like there is no excuses like I'm not telling you that any of this is okay because this is a challenge like it's not okay to do these things but I did them. So I'm just telling you, I'm not perfect. Honestly, I want to try 75 hard again, maybe in a time where I don't have any trips planned and like see how it goes. And again, that's not an excuse, but I am telling you that I have not executed every single day up to this point perfectly. I'll tell you more, obviously, when the whole journey's up, but that's where I am right now. No sense in hating myself over those mistakes because I can't do anything else about it right now unless I want to start completely over. But like, I don't because this is a learning process and this is kind of part of the journey. But that's where I am, being real with you. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you because then what would we have? <laughs> Literally like this relationship is built on trust and realness. And like, if we don't have that, what do we have? You know, so that's, that's where we 
where we stand. It's okay. I'm home. I'm doing so much better and I'm really happy about it. I will tell you that. I'm so happy to be back having the resources I normally do and you know it is a lot easier when I'm at home so I'm really happy to be back on the grind. I'm feeling so good about myself. I was literally like dancing around in my underwear this morning as I was like changing clothes, making TikToks and stuff because I just feel so good about myself and I'm having fun. That's the most important part. Speaking of progress pictures, while it's literally on my mind right now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, get it done for the day. I'm not gonna show you. I'm not gonna show you my physique. I'm gonna save that till the end. I usually have my big tripod sitting out, so I'm just gonna put my camera on here and then I usually have been taking them here every day. I am gonna change my clothes and put on something like a little more revealing. I mean, it is a progress picture. Like you need to be able to like see my body, you know? Ooh, I feel good. Sometimes you just have to be your own hype woman. I just take a video every time so that I can get my front, I'll turn to the side and then I'll get my back as well. And I forgot that I only self tanned half my body. So these pictures are probably really cute. The color difference here. And Duncan has my slipper, but look the color. All right, we're doing it. It's time to brave the snow and go for a walk. 45 minutes, baby. The fact that that is like the road. Okay, before I make dinner, I just got in my first ever FabFitFun box, so I wanted to open it with you. I've had so many friends that have done the FabFitFun subscription, but I never have, and they are turning 10, and so they sent me over a box, which was so nice of them. So I wanna open it and show you all of the things. Basically, if you've never heard of it, it is a subscription box filled with like fashion, beauty, wellness, lifestyle, fitness, all that type of stuff, and you actually get to customize it. So they send you a link, and you get to pick choices. They are full-size products, too. They're not like little samples, which is super cool. But so, here we have it. Let me show you my picks. So it's seasonal, and I feel like with Valentine's Day right around the corner, this is the perfect time to get like a cute little gift of products to yourself. The first thing I got is by Tula. It is a vitamin C serum. It says brightening treatment drops. I feel like vitamin C is such a fun thing to have and incorporate into your routine as well. Oh, it's a dropper. Next up, I've always wanted to try something from Necessaire. I feel like anyone who's tried Necessaire has raved about them. So I got... Their body serum. I've also never tried something like this for my body. But like taking care of your body is really important just like taking care of your face, you know? So it has hyaluronic acid. It says it's a hydrating treatment. So good for the winter time. I love that. I also have heard so many good things about this brand, Amika. Intense moisture shampoo and conditioner. Next is brand I've never heard of. This is by Earth Harbor. Regenerative neck cream. And I feel like your neck is like just as important as your face and I feel like it gets neglected. So I really wanted to get one of these so that I make sure that I start like taking care of it. I do bring my products down my neck, but I don't know, just not enough. Sometimes you forget. I also got from Fenty Beauty a little mini brush. Good for on the go. Good for whenever. I think it's supposed to be like a contour brush. That's exciting. Last box we have here, these little ceramic berry bowls, because why not? I've been trying to use more containers in my fridge and stuff, and these are fun to have. So we got a little bit of skincare, makeup tools, hair care, body care and food. Cute. I am so excited to try all this stuff. They did give me a discount code to offer you. You can get 28% off with Morgan G20. The box is valued up to $300, which is pretty cool, especially because you do get full-size products. So like I said, I've always heard of this, so I'm happy that I'm finally trying it. Thanks, Fun, for gifting me a cute little box. Okay, I'm going to get this out of the way, and then we need to eat dinner and then work out. Let's do it. So I do not have a ton of groceries in my house, but I don't want something too boring. So I just cut a chicken breast in half so it's thinner and then I'm going to throw a little olive oil on it. I also don't have a brush. I'm gonna season it with some of this Hidden Valley Ranch packet and we're just gonna bake it. And I'm gonna boil some noodles. I'm also severely running out of veggies, so we're heating up frozen broccoli to add to the little pasta mix. I do this awesome thing when I'm making food where I don't like to set timers, and I also forget when I put things in the oven. So, chicken should be done soon, but right now I literally have like plain bare noodles with broccoli, and so I think if I add a little bit of milk and some of the ranch seasoning, it can kind of turn it into like a sauce, or so I read, and so it'll flavor the noodles, and then I'll also have the ranch chicken on top. I think that'll be good. And like, yeah, maybe it would've been smart to do that over the stove, like heat it up together, but I just threw them in the bowl with the pasta already, and like I'm heating up now, it's fine. It's, sometimes I just like really don't want to go the extra mile, even though it's like not a mile, it's only like a couple feet, realistically, but yeah, today was one of those days. And time to refill my half gallon. Second half gallon of the day, just in time for dinner and a workout. It smells so good, I just cut into it, it's done. Incredible, amazing, beautiful, glorious, I love it. Okay, 
That is really good, especially for throwing random stuff together and it's like all good ingredients. Don't underestimate your Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning packet. The chicken's good, the noodles are good, the broccoli's good. Like even just throwing that seasoning and milk in to mix around with the pasta and flavor it turned out really well. Hidden Valley Ranch Slay. Post dinner, pre-workout. I decided after talking to you, it's really kind of dumb that I'm doing this challenge and after Atomic Habits, I've just been listening to audiobooks. Like I think I need to step it up a notch and if I struggle with reading, like how am I gonna get better at it? Practice right? So I mentioned this book a few times on my channel. I've actually never read it cover to cover. It's called Why We Sleep and I think it would be really useful for me to actually read the whole thing. So I'm going to start this today, crack into it, see if I can do it. It's definitely going to be a little bit harder of a read than Atomic Habits. And when I say I struggle with reading, like I can read. I was never bad at it in school or anything. I just like, I'm just not a reader. I'm, I'm just not. 10 pages a day, I can do it. And now you know what time it is. I'm feeling good, feeling ready for a workout, which is not every day. Sometimes you just have to force yourself to do it. But today specifically, I'm feeling good. It's been a good day. I'm happy I'm filming. We're bonding. It's time to work out. I've actually been so into the 12 to 30 lately, which I know is like, oh, shock. Like, okay, Morgan, what do you, like, why do you not, right? But I mean, there's times where I'm like, oh, I don't really like feel like doing it. But like lately, I've been craving that shit. If you've never tried it and you have access to a treadmill, do me a favor and just do it. And for the second time today, thank the world for Lauren Geraldo. So I have mentioned this before, but basically I do like an advanced version. So I start on 12 incline through speed and then each lap after the first one, I up one increment rotating between speed, then incline, speed, then incline. And I'll show you kind of the stats where I finish the 31-ish minutes I usually stop at. And then I slowly decrease the incline for my cool down. Sometimes I take this all the way up to five miles if I just like need to burn off some steam. Sometimes I'll stop at like three miles, sometimes four miles, it really just depends how much time I have if I want to do other workouts it depends I feel good let's do more instead of doing a little dumbbell workout I'm feeling a booty band workout 10 minute booty burn workout and you will need a booty band make sure you have some beneath you My butt is on fire. That was a great workout. I will link it. It's crazy. After taking the band off, my legs feel like so free and loose to the shower. So I totally am a nighttime sweet tooth person. And like some nights I give in, some nights I don't. And when I say give in, I mean lately I've been trying so many different like protein desserts because I feel like that's a whole other world. Like I feel like there's, you search it on TikTok, there is a million different ways you can go about it, right? So my favorite one so far is... I'm gonna grab my new protein powder we tried earlier, which, oh my goodness, it smells so good. But this is perfect because I had one scoop earlier and then I don't wanna make like a ton of this. So I'm just gonna have, you know, one, maybe even a little less than one scoop for the little dessert. I'm just gonna toss it right in that bowl. There's a the dog hair. Okay, donkey. Next, we move over to the cabinet. We get the, you probably guessed it, peanut butter. I feel like protein and peanut butter is like in everything. Like every healthy dessert, healthy sweet, to, you know, whatever. But I mean, it is really great. I'll just take kind of like, I don't really measure it like that much. If you need more, you add more, right? It's not a big deal. This is technically peanut butter cookie dough. And then we're gonna take our sweetener, which you can use honey, you can use maple syrup, which I have like sugar-free maple syrup. It's only 15 calories per two tablespoons. We probably won't even use that much. We just add a little bit however much you want to start out with you can always add more and basically you just mix it together he came running because he smells the peanut butter and i give him peanut butter you know it's a little treat would you be interested in more protein dessert recipes trying these out do you care I don't know, I just actually really like this one, so I'm excited to share it with you. And I found it on TikTok, I'll link the TikTok. I cannot take credit for this. I don't know how to come up with things like this. So this is what it looks like. It, I mean, it looks like a cookie dough, doesn't it? It's pretty much the same consistency as well. And I think it tastes great. Mm. And it's a fun way to get in protein. I also find that two scoops of protein is way too much for my smoothies, so this evens it out. Also, can we take a moment? You can't be surprised, right? I wear furry jammies all the time and mention them all the time because I love them. I'll link them. They're super sustainable brand. If you haven't heard of Parade, 
They're great for any support, so. He literally licks his lips before he even give it to him. There's a good boy. I give him like a little at a time and then I kind of pull it away for him to, you know, really take his time there. You are so handsome. Oh my goodness. I am ridiculous. Something else that I make, if I feel like I just, I just need a little something extra, you know, whether it's for my digestion or whatnot, I will take some chia seeds, let some soak in water for a little bit because you're supposed to let them sit. To be completely honest, I don't know why, but I think that's just how you're supposed to prepare some chia seeds. And I'll be back in like, I don't know, 15 minutes to show you the rest. I've made this a bunch of times on camera, so you can probably guess what I'm gonna do. Liquid IV, baby. I love this little concoction I came up with. Just for the days that you need a little hydration, a little chia seed movement in your body. I don't know. It's also good for the nighttime sweet tooth. Anyways, I think that's all here. I think this was a full, in-depth, good day. You know where I stand. I'm happy. We're on the same page. You're filled in. This is what's going on. I feel good. I feel like I'm on a good page, a good note. And yeah, let me know what other videos you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. I love you. I'm rooting for you in whatever journey that you're on right now. And I'll see you in my next one.